Last time on the Amazon Adventure Challenge, in the race to the flooded forest, Caspar and I got wrecked. We wrapped. flipped the canoe. What a horrible experience. Later in the day, we found Wito, a blue pigment that gives you tattoos. We finished the day with piranha fishing and sleeping in a stilt hotel on top of the Amazon River. And welcome to our comfy rooms tonight. Look at this beautiful boy. Muscle City, Muscle City. Oh, oh. <laughs> damn, man. Great steering wheel. <laughs> Buenos dias. So it's the next day after we put the blue pigment on our hands, and I gotta show you my hands. They are insanely blue. Look at this. Oh my god, I'm like a Navi from Avatar. They're almost black. Well, just be just. Look at those, they look so delicious. Mmm, delicioso. Mm. Fruto del serpente. Serpiente. Look at the scales, yeah. Like a, totally like a snake. Son los huevos. Son los huevos. La serpiente. Huevos de serpiente. No. It tastes like passion fruit and butter. It's like yogurt and passion fruit. I agree. It's a strange oh. taste. It is like like Greek yogurt and passion fruit. Mostranos tu tatuaje. Oh yes, sexy man. <laughs> okay. All right, we've just landed on the little stilt town of Islandia, somewhere in Peru, and we were given our last challenge on this little envelope. I have not opened it yet. We're gonna get to the main island and we're gonna see what the last challenge is. The, after we finish this, we should arrive at the finish line and that'll be it for the Amazon Adventure Challenge. Hola. Hola. Okay, so basically what looks like is happening. We have five parts. Each one is finding certain things in the city, make our way to the finish line by boat after we finish everything. <laughs> Okay. We're in the municipal office trying to find out information. La cantidad de escuelas. Yeah. Aquí en las escuelas, tanto primaria, secundaria y seba. Okay, that, that was, hola. <laughs> that was productive. We got all the information we needed. How many schools there are, uh, when it was founded, and the population. And now we're trying to find a spot to get a shave. Because that's one of the challenges, is getting the best shave in the city from this guy. Peluca, Pelucaria Lucha. All right, Caspar and I have split up. He's getting a shave. And I am trying to find the National Police Office to get a selfie with the police officer. We brought two cameras. I have my cell phone and this, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be the, the winning tactic for us. Gracias. So all, all the police officers are bailing out their police boat. <laughs> to get in and take a photo with them. <laughs> Oh my god, look at this. It's a, uh, it's a, co it's a cock fighting ring. Holy shit, I've never seen one before. Guys, the pelea. Oh wow. Look at the, you can see the spikes, yeah? The ch -ch -ch on the heels. Son tuyos? We were asking around about the national anthem and there was not very many people who were... Well, if they said they didn't know it, I'm pretty sure they were just shy to sing by themselves. Because you've got to know your national anthem. And so, I think we have to go back to the police officers. Because they were such awesome dudes and see if they can sing. Because there's five of them. And we have to get video footage of five people teaching you. So why not five together and save a buttload of time. Yeah, empezamos? Si. Sí. Somos libres, seamos los 
siempre seamos lo siempre y antes niegue su luces que faltemos al voto solemne que la patria al eterno elevó oh, ahí terminó. Wow. 100 dólares 100 dólares. 100 dólares. 100 pesos. 100 pesos. 100 pesos. Ay, no, no, pues. Gracias por todo. Adiós. I've seen a couple of the other groups. I don't think we're as behind as we thought we were. Since Caspar and I split up, we knocked a bunch of them out of the way really fast. And now I think the last one is catching a boat to another small little island town. Oh, and that was easy. Dude, we might actually be first. Gracias, amigo. ¿Cómo te llamas? Juan. I'm worried about Andrea and Erasmus because they have been like the sneaky underdogs who always seem to pull ahead last minute. I haven't seen them at all, so I wouldn't be surprised if they've already kicked things off. But they don't know Spanish, do they? So I'm hoping and thinking we're the first ones to leave. Okay, we're going over the list and we've realized that we've potentially made a few mistakes. It says Team Selfie and we split up, so not all these are together. But we're on the boat to Benjamin Constant to find the restaurant Cabanas, and that'll be the finish line. So we will see how strict the rules are. Yeah. Hopefully not strict. Okay, we've arrived. There's more boats in the distance following us. I'm not sure if it's the group. We have to find Restaurante La Cabanas. Caspar's already on it. Está lejos. Benjamin Constant. Restaurante Cabanas. Dos minutos. Dos minutos. Uh, ah, okay. ah, we <laughs> We're in Brazil now. Yeah. Oh shit! There was a bit of a language barrier because now, since Leticia, where we started, is on the border between Colombia, Peru, and Brazil, we were just in Peru five minutes ago and now we landed in Colombia and they speak Portuguese. I don't know any Portuguese, Casper knows a bit. So we're trying to ask them where the restaurant was and they weren't really understanding in Spanish. Then we realized, oh shit, we're not in Peru anymore. We're in Brazil. Something bad just happened. We were here laughing, kicking back, talking about our victory. We just got passed by Scott in a motorcycle. Oh, we're almost stuck in the mud back here, man. Did not expect those guys that well, it was only one of the two, so I'm not, I haven't seen Dave yet. But we should have took motorcycles. Where's Dave? Where's Dave? Ah, Peter! They got motorcycles, man. They got motorcycles. Motorcycles are faster than trucks. Oh, shit! <laughs> we got there just literally one second. You guys took motorbikes. After one team member, but before the other. <laughs> We took the truck and we're like, oh, we're so far ahead. And then Scott goes by, brrr, and it's like, see you, motherfucker. <sighs> that was, that was, that was more tough than uh, I thought it was going to be. I really enjoyed that. Oh, over, man. All good. Challenge Wait, complete. Did, did you see me? I was trying to wave you. Like, get yeah, I know. And I was like, vamos, vamos. It's time to find out the winners. We're nervous. We're nervous. We had some low points. We had some low points, but Five, four, three, two, one. To an awesome week. That's a riggedy wrap on the Amazon series. So this company that organizes these things is called Large Minority, and they have a jungle one, they have a sailing one, and they have a tuk-tuk one, like a motorized scooter. The sailing one's to the Philippines, the tuk-tuk one's through Sri Lanka, and this one was through the Amazon. If you're the kind of person who loves challenge, who loves adventure, who loves to get a little bit uncomfortable, who loves to grow and have a real travel experience, these guys offer some sick, sick stuff, and they are not paying me a cent to say this. I highly recommend you guys checking out their tours. They're tagged below. So, moving forward and kick the grind. We have, we have some things 
some things coming up, some big things. The first big thing is honoring our Hand of Fame member. Welcome to the club. Let me grab my Sharpie. Brandon Moore, welcome to the Hand of Fame, my man. It is my honor to honor you. You've been a subscriber for a long time. I always look forward to your messages. Thank you so much for being part of the tribe here on Kick the Grind. So, we finished the Amazon series. Up next, there can be a variety of things. In the past few months, I have filmed a radish carving festival on Christmas. Perhaps the coolest Airbnb I've ever stayed in called Quetzalcoatl's Nest. And the video was some friends drinking oyster flavored fermented cactus juice. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I'll drink it. I would love for you guys to tell me which one to edit next. Put the comment below saying which one you love and say hi to Marianella. Hi. Say it. Experience. Say it. Experiences are possessions. Kick the grind. Cheers.